So we'll keep moving across and we've just got here buffer curve snapshot and swap buffer curve. These are very easy ones that are easy to get, but they're a little bit tricky to use if you don't know what they do. So what we have to do is select the curve that we want to buffer and we just hit that and that will save it. Now it's a little bit hard to see here because you start moving stuff, it looks like nothing's happened. If you come across to view and then you go show buffer curves. Now when you start moving things, you can see that there's a little gray line that gets left behind. So I just put that one over here. What the next button here will do is it will switch between the green mode and back to the gray one. So it's sort of like a toggle and you can compare. And this is great for sort of playing back stuff and going, oh, do I want it that way? Or do I want it that way? So it's a little bit like bookmarking and animation, making some changes and then being able to compare them and toggle back forwards and through without having to do a million undos, which is really handy. And you might see me doing this quite a fair bit. So that's really good. You can do it with as many keyframes as you want. Obviously Obviously we don't have a lot on this object, but if you want to rebuffer it, you can just then hit the buffer curve again and that will just save that as now the last one and now we can toggle between them. So the important one to remember is just the show buffer curves there. Just click it on and off and you'll see that's a, a really handy one for us to get into.